Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. Most hedge trimmer repairs will require some disassembly of the product. Before you attempt this, make sure the engine has cooled and remove the wire and boot from the spark plug to prevent the engine from accidentally starting. To access the carburetor, first depress the tab to release the air filter cover. Use a 3 8 inch socket to help loosen the mounting nuts. Unthread the nuts and pull off the air filter. Note the orientation of the fuel lines attached to the carburetor, then detach the lines. Be prepared for some fuel to spill out. Open the throttle and use needle nose pliers to disconnect the throttle cable from the carburetor. You can now slide the carburetor off. Before you replace or install a new carburetor, make sure the intake manifold gasket is in place on the mounting bolts. Now slide the carburetor onto the bolts. Connect the throttle cable to the carburetor. and attach the fuel lines to the appropriate ports. Replace the air filter and secure the assembly with the mounting nuts. Realign the filter cover and snap it into place. To access components like the on-off switch and throttle trigger, remove all of the screws holding the handle base and cover together. Carefully remove the handle cover and use a clamp to secure the handle base to the gearbox assembly to prevent the components inside the base from becoming dislodged. When the repair is completed, carefully remove the clamp, support the base, and realign the handle cover. Replace the screws. Be aware you will need to thread the larger screws through the nuts to secure. To access components like the clutch, rewind spring, and ignition coil, first use a T25 Torx bit screwdriver to remove the mounting screws securing the blade and handle assembly. Separate the assembly from the engine housing. Use a spark plug wrench to help unthread the spark plug. Now confirm that the piston is in the down position. Insert a cord into the cylinder to prevent the piston from moving. You can now remove the clutch by using a clutch removal tool to loosen the component by rotating it counterclockwise. Then unthread the clutch from the engine shaft. Pull off the washer. Use a T20 Torx bit screwdriver to remove the mounting screws securing the recoil assembly.
pull off the assembly to access the rewind spring, the ignition coil, and the flywheel. When the repair is completed, realign the recoil assembly and replace all of the mounting screws. Replace the washer, thread the clutch clockwise onto the shaft and tighten. Remove the cord from the cylinder. Rethread the spark plug but be careful not to over tighten. Carefully reposition the blade and handle assembly on the engine housing and replace the mounting screws to secure. To replace the blade assembly, first use a 5 16 inch wrench to remove the guard handle screw locking nuts. Now use a T25 Torx bit screwdriver to unthread the handle screws and release the guard handle. Next, remove the screws securing the gearbox assembly cover. Pull the cover off and remove the gasket and felt seals if necessary. Use a 10 mm socket and wrench to unthread the mounting bolts and nuts securing the blade assembly. With the bolts removed, lift the blade assembly out of the gear housing. Remove both the upper and lower washers. Separate the two blades and pull out the gear. When handling the blade assembly, we recommend using a blade cover. To reinstall or replace the blade assembly, separate the two blades and insert the gear. Apply some grease to the gear. Now position the upper and lower washers. Align the assembly in the gearbox. Make sure the spacers are in place on the mounting bolts. Then insert the bolts through the blade assembly. Slide the washers onto the bolts and tighten the nuts to secure the assembly. Make sure the felt seals are in place on the cover. Reposition the gasket. Apply some additional grease to the gears. And realign the cover.
Replace the screws to secure the cover. Reposition the guard handle. Thread the mounting screws. Then thread the nuts on and tighten. With the product fully reassembled, reattach the wire and boot to the spark plug and your hedge trimmer should be ready for use.